Suppose in an experiment, you are given an unknown solution, suppose this colorless solution. So we take 1 cubic centimeters of this colorless solution, unknown. And to this unknown solution, we have to add some sodium hydroxide. So far, we observed that there is no PPT form. We may say that there is no change seen or no observable, observable change. If following this, the instruction is that you would heat this tube of mixture, then this means that you are actually carrying out the test for the ammonium ion. So if you have to add sodium hydroxide and warm the mixture, this is the test, this is the steps to test for the presence of the ammonium ion. So before we turn on the Bunsen burner, we should get ready the red litmus paper. We should dampen the red litmus paper and test for the presence of the ammonia gas. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to dampen the piece of red litmus paper first. I'm going to leave it aside. Next, I will follow the instructions, turn on the Bunsen burner and then heat the test tube. Warm the test tube gently and as I warm the, 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 the mixture, I will test for the presence of a ammonia gas using the piece of damp red litmus paper. So to test for the gas, you put the test the piece of red litmus paper at the mouth of the test tube. Do not allow the litmus to touch the test tube. Always put the litmus paper in the air. We notice that the piece of damp red litmus paper has turned blue. So what do we write as observations? In our observations, we will write that bubbles were seen and the gas given off turned damp red litmus paper blue. So bubbles were seen, the gas given off turned damp red litmus paper blue. This is a positive test result for the presence of the ammonium ion. So the unknown contains the ammonium ion.